I am going to dry pour a fairly large slab of concrete. Yep, it's about 1.30 in the morning and I can't quit looking at my handiwork. This is 12 feet wide and approximately 16 feet long. There's an additional area over here of about six foot by eight foot that I already dry poured. I searched around the internet uh, looking for videos about it and I've seen a few. I've seen a couple pour real, you know, maybe two, three inch deep, uh, like a four by eight or maybe an eight by eight uh, for like a chicken coop or something. <clears throat> what I'm doing is connecting a slab that's a little bit off camera um, where my well pump is. There was a slab where I'm standing many years ago, all broken apart, crumbly, and there was an outbuilding here. So I wanted to connect where this outbuilding was with that slab over there, create a space to build a one fairly good size backyard building for a little nursery and some things that I'm doing here on my property. So um, this one turned out really well and I decided the next section that I do, um, I was gonna do it with you guys pretty much in real time. And let me just tell you a few reasons why I'm dry pouring it. First of all, I don't need all of this concrete back here. But um, when I was thinking about building this, I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do it. And um, I didn't mind taking my time and working through it because this is, a, I almost call my yard like more of an art project, you know, than uh, anything else. So I want to have fun with it. I want to learn. I like doing it by myself and I'm not in a hurry. So when I started thinking about how I wanted to lay it out, when I started digging it out, I started thinking about the concrete, like I'm not pulling a car up in here. Um, this is uh, for tools and for a workshop and things like that. So if that's the case, um, I just feel like I don't have to overdo it and go crazy. Uh, just make a nice foundation. So. I did the math on some concrete that I needed. That was pretty simple online. There's little concrete calculators uh, to tell you what you need. But then when it came to pouring it, I was like, I guess I, I'll just go get the bags and mix it up and do it myself. And it just started looking like a, a lot of concrete. I didn't realize it was gonna be that much. And I just couldn't imagine like hiring a truck and having them back all the way and pump. Like how could that and then when they do that, they're gonna show up and they're gonna look at me standing in the backyard. And I'm gonna say, just start here, there. I don't, I don't have the tools, I don't have floats, I don't have pulls. Like, they're just gonna be kind of staring at me, scratching their heads like, this guy has no idea what he's doing. And I didn't really wanna be that guy, <laughs> I was too embarrassed. But once again, I just wanted to do it myself. So. I, I, I don't really know when you're pouring this much concrete if you're saving money by doing it yourself. Um, if it was a real small amount, obviously you're not going to call a pumper truck. And much bigger than this, you probably want to do it a more traditional way. But with all of that said, let's, uh, let's put down a piece of... Uh, let's make some concrete, okay? So, first of all, I do have a sub base here. I have some gravel. I'm in Florida, I'm in um, Zephyr Hills, Florida, which is kind of central, a little east of Tampa. And um, so we have a very sandy soil here. I mean, like pure sand, to be honest. I uh, was born and raised in um, central Ohio, Columbus area. And um, you know, you could not put a shovel in the ground without just hitting a rock. It was impossible, like digging was terrible. When you come here, you could just like, you could just like dig and dig and dig and it's just like digging at the beach. There's, there's nothing but sand after an inch underneath everything you see, and nothing but sand. Okay, so um, in Florida, with really sand, you really can't compact sand very much. It's just very compact naturally because of the size of the the sand anyway so sand compacts very hard you put some water on it and this stuff is just it feels like hard concrete right now this literally feels like 
like hard concrete like hardening down here you can it's just it's hard so everybody knows you could pour a bag of concrete into a post hole and just let it set there everybody knows you could take bags of concrete and stack them up and just let the rain do its thing and it'll just it'll it'll harden so um i was thinking i'll i'll get the bags and do it myself and then if i'm gonna mix them in the wheelbarrow and then dump it in here why not just like mix them here why not just why not just dump it out in here and mix it up like why mix it up over there and so i'm gonna get a little little something to cut this open um Would it be nice if I put it exactly where it needed to be? And guess what? I did. It's a little after 6 o'clock. Um, it's about almost 80 degrees out. And I am so happy right now. I it can hardly tell you. So, that's it. Why does it have to be any more than that? So I'm going to just keep dumping it out there. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it about halfway full, about two inches. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this down. This section I'm working on, by the way, is three feet wide. So we're going to put a little of this down after I get a couple inches in here. And then... We're going to put that mesh right on top of those two inches. And then we're just going to water it with the water hose. We're just going to soak it down. It's going to harden a little bit. I'm going to tamp it down a little bit, nice and flat. Should be pretty flat. I mean, I'm going to rake it flat, put the metal on, spray it. You'll see. Let it harden just a little bit. And then just not even like, I'm just saying it'll harden very fast because it's so dry. We're not getting it real soupy. We're keeping it kind of dry. Then I'll put the other two inches off or on. I'll take this little board right here, just like I would over here on this section, which is four feet wide. I was gonna try a three foot wide one first, but we're just gonna go here and I'm gonna pull it right down. I'm gonna flatten it, pull it back, flatten it. Then we're gonna take the water hose we're not going to squirt it. It'll go everywhere. We're going to mist it. And it's going to be done. Then we'll just mist it over and over and over and over. The bottom is completely saturated, so water's going to come up. The two inches I'm getting ready to put down, I'm going to spray as much water on it as I would have mixing it up in the wheelbarrow. And the other two inches is going to get the top coat of water plus everything underneath. And in theory, this should work. <laughs> so, all right, let me get to dumping some of these bags. And uh, let's have some fun. This shouldn't take too long, right? It's going to take me longer to just to dump the bags, probably, than anything else. So here we go. There's construction going on behind me. And uh, they just stopped. They're the happiest workers on the face of the planet. They sing, play loud music and sing, and sounds like they're dancing. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they make a lot of noise. And it just stopped. And um, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to record through the night, so I do have a couple little lights up on the fence. And honestly, what really made this possible was the little microphone hanging around my neck. I was wanting to make the video, and you know, I was kind of wanting to talk while I was doing it, while I was working, and can't hear me it's awful it's terrible and I got some great mics in the house but running wires and everything everywhere forget about it 
So I get on Amazon yesterday. I'm like, I really want to film a little section of this pad and uh, see how many people make fun of me. Or maybe talk me out of doing the rest of it this way. Either way, it sounded fun. But I was like, I got to have... I got to get a wireless mic. I've been so... A wireless lapel mic. I've been so afraid to, to even look into it. More gear. More gear. I have so much gear. And 40 bucks. I have two of them. Two of these little mics. I mean, there's one over there. I'm not using it, but... Comes with two mics. Just plugs in the bottom of the, of the phone. I'm recording on an iPhone. And I thought, well, by God, if I can just talk and work a little bit, put my camera on a tripod. I know that sounds pretty simple, right? I mean, YouTube's been around for a minute. I've made a bunch of vlogs, but not like this. So I'm trying a little something a little different. And I hope you enjoy it. So, as you can see, we're getting a little high strength concrete mix down. This is from Home Depot, probably five something a bag. Um, I did have it delivered. And let's rake this around a little bit and see how deep it is. I don't think it's deep enough. Matter of fact, I know it's not. Let me put at least one or two more bags in. And then we're going to rake it up. Put some mesh. Water it. Yep, you just saw me leave my cutter tool back there. So let's get it on the second trip. <clears throat> yes, I'm wearing some funny looking shoes for me. But those damn solid foam things. It's hard to beat. You rinse them off and they're done. These come courtesy of Walmart with Nightmare Before Christmas, licensed from Disney. So yeah, wearing some fancy, fancy shoes out here to do concrete work for $14.99. Now, oh man, I'll tell you what. If you've never hit yourself in the face with an axe while you're hammering something. Now, when you're doing this, you're pretty safe because this is even with the handle. But when you're using it like this, can you see where I'm going with this? I know you think I'm kidding because you've not done it. And no, you don't usually plant it in your head. You're usually not that far off, but you kind of forget that it's up there and you get focusing and whickety whack. You know what I mean? Don't talk back. <laughs> it's happened. Okay. Now, let's rake this around a little bit. See if we got a couple inches deep. And we know, I mean, that, that, that you can see the water coming up right up in here. You can see this, you know, concrete is doing its thing. Ooh, this looks good. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh yeah, this is looking good, good, good. Oh yeah. And, and this doesn't really have to be that level or that perfect. Um, just eyeball it. Just about like that. Just get it in there so that that metal, that mesh that we're getting ready to put in Man, this might be too much. That mesh that we're getting ready to put in. Uh, we don't want it at the very bottom and you don't want it at the very top. So, all right, let's see what we got here. So, I mean, honestly, just imagine this is right, a giant uh, cement mixer. And uh, we're mixing it right now. Add a little water. 
except now we don't have to carry it around we don't have to drag it around all over the property and we don't have to clean out anything and uh hell i just don't understand i don't understand what i'm doing wrong here so i hope i'm doing everything right anyway i'll put another like another bag over there and I think we're ready to lay down a little of that mesh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You notice how I laid that rake down? The tongs going into the ground. That's another thing you don't want to do. You do not want to step on a rake. Now I know you've seen it in the movies and you think it's funny. No one ever does that, do they? Well, you've never done that, so it's a fair question. But I can tell you for sure, if you have done it, it's one you never have to ask again. Yes, it's very real. Now, it works out handy if you do it on purpose, and you walk over and show off with your friends and everything. But I'm telling you, that ain't going to happen. It'll be the one day, that one time, it's going to be all of those ones... And it's going to slop up and knock you right in the forehead in a way that's going to be kind of shocking to your system. You're going to get a little bell that rings. Ding, ding. You're like, oh my God, what just happened? Where did it come from? And you're going to find out. And you look down and see that handle tattooed right on your forehead. That was a handle. Somebody just hit me with a big long... And you're going, I think I might have just hit myself. Yep, that's a lot to handle. All right, so we've uh, sure had a good time talking about rakes. And I'm sure the volume's down for the most of you. Or I put this up in fast forward. Or you put it up in fast forward. Uh, who knows? Okay, yes, I'm trying to kill some time and not be too annoying all right my god that's looking pretty all right so let's put down this mesh so this is the first time using this microphone and uh i hope shit i hope it works well all right so oh my god I swear I'm making this look easy. Because normally you got to buy these little metal things and put under it so it lifts it up. So when you pour the wet cement in, you know, it goes under and through it, but they stay in place. They have these little little, little stands that you, you put there to raise them up a couple inches. And we just did it just like that. I'm going to turn this around so the curve is working for us. And uh, it doesn't pop up. And... This is, uh, this is where the magic happens. We mix it with water. What happens when you mix cement with water? Does anybody want to guess? Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm not trying to blast it. And I don't want a lot of water in one place. I don't need it pooling anywhere, like in the center or the edges. Um, I'm like painting it so it's even and it's only a couple inches a couple inches deep now if I did this on the top layer and you look down here you see everything's turning to gravel because that, that concrete gets wet goes over these little pebbles and yeah, you can push them. You can push them in. Basically, I can literally stand. I'm, I can walk on this. This is. You understand? Like it's hard as it can be. We just keep adding water. <clears throat> but what I was saying is, when I'm doing this, it is washing all the concrete off the top. You know, of these rocks. So when we put the next layer on, we're literally going to take our time. 
using this board, pulling it back, like feathering, you know, like get it as flat as possible. And then when we spray it, we're not even going to use the, this is a, just like the, you know, like an angle spraying. No, nope. we're going to do something different. We're going to use the mister, and we are very delicate. We're going to very delicately light, start to uh, put some water on top and let it get just a little teeny bit firm and then just keep adding. But the water we're putting down here, remember, is going to be going right up from the bottom, not to mention groundwater and all the water I put in there. So I just don't really see... How in the world we're doing anything wrong? And honestly, I can almost see little bits of sheet starting to just like, you can hear it. You hear that sound that's just beating off the top where it's like, you can hear that? That little, that's it. Just want it wet enough. Now, here's where things get tricky. And I messed up the last time I did it. I tried to do this whole thing at once where I'm bringing bringing it back level. So I'm gonna try something new. I haven't tried this time. I'm gonna to try to do it differently. What I'm gonna to try to do is start here and just basically never go back over. Once I bring it this way and it's nice and flat, just bring, keep wreck and I'm gonna walk it back all the way down through here. Um, I'll show you. And then I've got a push broom and I'm gonna take that push broom and I'm gonna add a little texture to the top. So anyway, like this is it, like this is go time. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring a bunch of concrete right here so I can get to it quicker, not have to walk back and forth while I'm doing this last layer. And I have no idea how much it'll take, but we'll find out. Now, obviously, I already have the results from doing this before, right here, this beautiful pad, and um, I'll do a follow-up and let you know, you know, how this goes, how it hardens up. Maybe tomorrow I'll come out here and I'll show you the texture of this one versus the, how that one worked out. Plus, when we pull that side beam off uh, or piece of form... Um, which is a one by six treated decking, probably three quarter by six actually. Anyway, you can see the layers here that built up. So I'll show you all that in a close up when we kind of circle back around and talk about how it turned out. And if it looks good, feels good, I get some feedback from the rest of you or from some of you. Then I'm gonna do a four foot wide section and probably split this in the middle again and do, you know, basically three more four foot sections. So, okay, that's the plan. Let's get some more concrete over there. There, I have a neighbor with, uh, I mean, this is just a residential kind of in town. Um, little neighborhood with the dirt road, but there's not a lot of, not a lot of restrictions or rules about how to live around here, which I like a lot. Um, but it does mean that we share company with Quite a few roosters and turkeys and all kinds of fun little animals and critter that crawl around this here place. All right. I'm anxious to get to doing this, so let's see what happens. Ah, boy, oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, this is pho. Oops. I said pho, like the food, pho craving fall right now um, man this is amazing how hard this gets so quick all right I'm gonna add a little water to it just so we're good and uh, 
This is the part I'm a little more nervous about. Uh, just if it'll be easy as I hope. It, I wrestled with this back and forth. When I did a top and a side and the middle and the side and I'd like walk on it and have to go back and fix it and then it started drying and so I'm trying to improve my methods here. Okay, yeah, that's definitely holding a little bit of water. So I think we're good there. And, uh, oh, this is exciting. How many people are excited with me? Somebody. Somebody's going to hit a like. And let me know that, if nothing else, you have been slightly entertained by me or with me it means nothing all right oh shit ship I said ship oh ship I was thinking about how much fun it would be to Go on a cruise. I haven't been on a cruise in a while. All right, so let's see. This is fun. Watch this. This is just like, oh my God, look at that. Jeez. Whoo! Man, that feels good. I got my butt sticking straight up in the air. I'm too excited to put it down on the ground. Yeah, this is just like, I mean, let's just, let's just keep this simple. Good Lord, this stuff is like baby powder with gravel in it. I mean, this stuff is fine. See what I'm saying? It's so hard to deal with. All right. Once I kind of get it started, get this back here started, you just pull it. Like, you basically, you keep the front full all the way across and pull and you can see the areas that you got here. Go back and fill up. And then once you kind of get it going, you put you a little bead of sand. I'm sorry, of cement. And uh, put you a little bead right across there to drag. And let's see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. Then we, we just keep it even so there's no, no places where it isn't pushing. Okay. Get on. See, we've got a little low spot over here. Back it up. And look at that. Okay. All right, now. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Now, I'm not really sure what to do about this up here. I think what I'm going to do is... I think I might let this, um, okay, now we're out right there. So, as you can see, obviously that's flat. A bunch of gravel been dragging around in it. So, I'm not sure what to do with it. All right, so let's uh, mist it up a little bit. And I have a wooden float up here. Or, cheapy little wooden disposable wooden float and um, we're going to miss this down a little bit and see if I can just kind of pat it flat let's uh, put the mister on oh yeah look at that oh my yeah oh my yes that looks good look at that See, this is not disturbing the top of that at all. Okay, I'm liking this. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, just pat it down, I guess. Just pat those gravel down in there. Add a little more water, maybe? And just pat it, you think? I think that would actually work. And uh, of course, I can just grab this and.
Yep, it's about 1.30 in the morning and I can't quit looking at my handiwork. Decided I'd give it another little, little misting. Okay, this is not misting anymore because let's just be honest. This thing is hard. It's done. Put a little water on it. It's amazing. It's got a nice texture to it. Feels great. <clears throat> I think it's time to call it a night. Oh yeah. Time to call it a night. <laughs>